Hey, so welcome back, and this is another Leco problem. So this one is called shortest word distance three, actually. And typically I do daily Leco problems, which are these ones here. But uh, for this question, it's actually from like the premium weekly questions that you can pick from. And so let's take a look at it. So I don't want to give you the solution just yet. We'll go over it. But skip to the ending if you don't want to hear any of this. So basically what you're given is a word dictionary but it's not really a, a dictionary it's just an array of words and you're also given word one and word two and all that you want to do is given these two words you want to find the shortest distance to uh, link them together or the shortest different distance apart they are and so in this case you can see that there's two words that match the first one makes and then one word coding that matches that word inside this words dictionary. And so the shortest path isn't from coding to this makes, but it's actually these two here because they're one distance apart. And so you'd return one in that case. So just to quickly show it again. So from makes to coding, this distance would be considered two in this case, since you would have to hop twice, but then from makes to this coding you'd only hop once and so you want to return one and then for and this is the catch here is that okay not only can you have multiple instances of each word but you can also have just trying to match makes twice and so in this case there's two instances of makes but then also you have both words that can match and so you can't just say okay the distance is zero you have to say that the distance is one to three in this case to get that so you have to handle this special case but other than that that's all the tricks that are in this um, it's a fairly new problem uh, it doesn't look like it's asked very much but um, it's asked by linkedin and amazon but let's give it a quick try so all that you have to do is you need to define two different variables here you have to define index one and index two and so these will both be preset to negative one. And what I want these to be, this is kind of a two pointer solution for this problem, is that we'll have one pointer pointing to the kind of current latest index of word one. And then you have word two, and you'll have another pointer called index two that will point to like the next late or the, the latest instance of that a uh, word that we've encountered so far and so what we're doing here is we're just going to iterate through this array from left to right and we're going to update these two index variables and so say we're at index zero it doesn't match any of these words so we continue on then we say okay we've now matched with word one here so let's update our index one so that index one is now equal to a one here in this case. So then we move onwards to the next one, which is perfect, which doesn't match either of these words. And then we go to coding and we say, okay, that matches word two. So now let's update our index two in this case to equal zero, one, two, three, to in equal index three. And then we want to get the minimum or the current distance from those two ones. So you just do three minus one. So that in distance is two. So then we move on. We say, okay, now we encountered makes, which it matches our word one. So we actually want to update our index one pointer since we have a new latest uh, location for that word one. And so then we set that to two here and we perform that calculation again. So then we do three minus two, which is then just one. And so you wanna take like the minimum of these two different distances, which is therefore one. Okay, so that's a simple case. And once again, that explains why we have index one and two. And so then if, what if we're dealing with cases where we just have makes? So for that, we just, it's a special case where you say, okay, we're actually, we'll still declare this index two, but we're never gonna use it. And so we're gonna say, okay, say we encounter uh, makes here. So we set index one 
equal to the index one, since that's index location one. And then as we're iterating along, and then we say, okay, we just encountered makes again, because these two words match, we're gonna enter a special case where all we do is we subtract the distance from this current one to with index one. And so we just say, okay, zero, one, two, three, four. So then we just say, okay, four minus the last previously seen index of this word, which is in index one, we get three. Okay, and so this would then be updated to then, okay, this is at location uh, four here. And so say if we find makes, you know, later on in this array, say we found it at index like seven, we found another instance of makes, then we would just say, okay, seven minus four is three, right? And so you just continue only using index one. It might make more sense once we sh show you the code. So let's go ahead and implement this. We're gonna to wanna to return like the minimum distance, which will initially set to infinity, um, which is, you can just do it this way. So you don't have to import any library. And this is just because at first we want to just set it to infinity so that it gets shrunken down. And we know with these constraints, we are uh, certain that these two words are going to be in the dictionary. So we're never gonna return infinity. And then from here, we just want to iterate through every word in our words dictionary. And we want to get the index as well, which in Python, you just do enumerate, which gets us the current word and the current index. So enumerate uh, words dictionary. And then from here, we just want to say, okay, if our word is equal to word one, we want to handle processing for that case. And so we want to say, okay, if we've seen our previous or other word before, so this is handling, okay, if we've seen word one, then we only want to calculate the distance if we've seen word two before. And so we know that we've seen it before if it doesn't equal negative one, because initially it's preset to negative one, but once we see it, that will be updated. And so then we go in this case and we calculate the new min distance which will equal to the minimum of itself and this new distance that we're calculating, which is the distance between word or the distance between the current index minus index at one. Or no, sorry, minus the index at two. And this isn't word two, we wanna say index two there. So if we've seen word two before, then we would have updated this index we want to minus from the current index because that represents the latest visit to this word one here. And we want to minus it by index two because naturally, because we just saw index at i, we know that this number will be greater than this number because this number was seen in the past. Okay, and so after that, all you want to do is update our index one to the current index because we just, this is the last now seen um, instance of our word one. And so we're gonna handle this the exact same way, but kind of flipped for word two. So if this equals word two here, then we'll want to check if we've seen word one before. We're going to want to update the previous seen index for this word two at the end of this, and then we just want to subtract it from the last scene for index one. And so the final case here is that special case of, okay, what if these word one, word two are the same? So I like putting it at the beginning. It's usually where I handle my special cases. And so we wanna do very similar logic here, but the difference is that we'll never actually end up using index two in this case, and we're just going to be using index one. And we can check this by, okay, if word if the current word is equal to word one and it's also equal to word two. Okay, that looks good. Let's try running that. Accepted and submitted. So yeah, that's a pretty good solution. It's O of N time. And we also have O of one space complexity. So it's O of N because you just traverse the array itself. We only do it one time. 
and so it just kind of grows with the input linearly and then for space complexity it's O1 because we don't use any extra data structures here all we're using is simple arrays and the array that's passed to us so yeah i hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms thanks for watching